copper mines of the Katanga copper crescent in the Congo, a, a region spanning about 350 kilometers. Uh, uh, very large copper mines, guys mining for copper, cobalt and related. Of course not for specimens and as, as the mining goes on and as the guys blast, often pockets full of specimen material uh, uh, comes out which is extracted by the miners. Some of the miners who'd sell it on the open market. Um, this one has a lovely uh, 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 formation. It's a solid formation of shatukat. On some of the cross sections here, as we see here, you see the spray effect. What I enjoy about this is almost a a definite underlying botryoidal appearance. So you get different shades of blue as well. You get a darker blue and a lighter blue. Of course, almost a dendritic formation on top of that would be tiny uh, girthite crystals, the black crystals. Could also be heterogenite. I've been going with girthite from Tontara all along um, because often there is a little bit of a color variation from the black going into red and yellow, which would lead me towards girthite, whereas heterogenite would be silver metallic black, usually botryoidal, going into, into just botryoidal gem black. All the way from Tantara in the Katanga, another masterpiece from this, the, the dance of Tantara. Look at this, it is actually one of the dancers, maybe a little bit of a bulky dancer, a dancer nonetheless. We had one more turn. Uh, we go, let's go across, look at that lovely section there.